Hello everyone and welcome to another Gathering Moss YouTube channel video. This is Phil and I'm glad you're joining me today. We are going to do the popular unboxing video today. I got some Hoyas from a seller on the USA Hoya Market page on Facebook. I think that's what it's called. Um, her name is Jen Infante, and she's a very good seller on there, and I was lucky to snag these before her purge, so I got to pick what I wanted. So we are going to unbox this little baby and see what's inside. So stay tuned. So here we have our standard USPS priority mailbox. Looks like it's well packaged. And uh, let's just take a look inside and see what we've got. We have our handy dandy um, slice cutter. Um, I love this thing because it's non-lethal. It, it cuts the boxes but not me, which has happened more than once, so I like to be safe. I got this on Amazon, uh, 10 bucks maybe. And it's, uh, this is a plastic product, so you don't rip yourself up with it. But it does really well on packages, so let's just dig this baby open. I know what I got, but you know it makes more fun if I hold off telling you what it is until I actually see it. So hopefully I can remember what it is once we get inside. Anticipation. Anticipation is making me wait. Standard newspaper. Non-descriptive, so I don't know where it came from. And here we go. Nicely packaged in thermal wrap. A um, little bit of priority mail tape on the outside to hold it in there, along with some scotch tape it looks like. Rip this bad boy open. That's a nice setup. You got all your little babies wrapped up in thermal wrap and then individually packaged. And this one, I hope you can see this. This is Swiffer's Dream. So um, this is a uh, This is uh, Jen's business card. Um, Bunch of Hoyas is her business. But um, Swiffer's Dream is one I've been looking to get um, for a little bit here. Uh, just trying to pick out a Swiffer that I really wanted because um, I've, I've gotten into um, the, uh, the Facebook page um, for the maker of this and his name slips my mind but we'll put a little screenshot up at the end of the video it's Rick something and I'm sure you all know who I'm talking about but um, he does all these hybrids and names them after his cat at least I think that's the story so this is Swiffer's this is Swiffer's dream Ooh, and that's a beauty look at that Swiffer's dream Look at the green on those leaves. Isn't that beautiful? Nicely packaged, um, has the standard, uh, looks like a bit of, a little bit of tissue or a paper towel on top to hold the, uh, the soil in. Um, this one has plastic wrap around the actual um, pot. Nice little um, semi-clear translucent pot. Looks like about a two inch holding the plant um, and looks like tree fern fiber. So, but look at those leaves. Can you see that? That is gorgeous. As Miro would say, gorgeous. That's just beautiful. So, that's number one, and I'm going to make sure I put my tag in it so I don't forget what it is because. I'm still learning to uh, recognize Hoyas. Um, 
a lot of them look the same to me, but that's how it goes. Um, so this, once again, um, is Swiffer's Dream. Swiffer's Dream. That's number one. One down and four to go, or three to go. Which, oh, this is a good one. Um, this is a this is one I've really been looking forward to getting. Um, I have VL9, um, and I've been looking to get. I don't know. Hopefully, you can read that. GPS 7240. Um, they're they're similar, from what I understand. But uh, the leaf shape is just a little bit different on GPS uh, 7240 than it is on VL09 or VL9, whichever it is. Um, but once again, it's there. There are two that I saw in uh, a Miro video where he was um, showing off his smaller leaf toyas, and um, oh yeah, that is different. That is gorgeous. Woo wee. Beautiful. Hopefully you can see those. Lightly splashed, elongated, very rigid leaves. Um, at least on my VL9, the leaves are much smaller um, than this is. That's, that's just pretty. Let me unwrap it a little bit here. Once again, Looks to be in tree fern fiber and some bark. And this one. At least I think it's tree fern fiber, I don't know. This one looks to be more barky. There is some tree fern fiber or something down below. But anyways, um, it's it's been well taken care of. This looks like some kind of a little um, cup. It's had holes uh, put in the side and in the bottom. Um, but once again, this is GPS 7240. Uh, gorgeous leaves, beautiful leaves. Um, very firm to the touch. They have a almost a velvety feel, but it's it's like it's like you were rubbing a chalkboard and trying to get the chalk off, but the chalk just doesn't come off. It just stays on there. So it's a it's a very interesting feeling. Very nice leaves. Once again, very, very healthy plant. Um, just what I expected from this seller. She's, she's very well known in the Hoya community um, on this Facebook page that I talked about, US Hoya Market. I think it's, that's what it is. I, I can't remember for sure. But um, she's very well known on there. And um, I, I figured I would get really good plants from her and I was lo really looking forward to um, her purge. And she gave the opportunity to jump in quickly before the purge because she really wanted to get rid of the stuff so I took advantage and bought more than I probably should have but here we are so this once again is a Hoya GPS 7240 so that's number two and now what did I do with my tag before I lose it I lost it how do I lose stuff so quick did I take it off well, I guess I'll have to find that later, but I can remember this one. It's one I really look forward to getting, so hopefully I can remember that one. I don't know. Okay, so this was one um, that was a, a last-minute addition um, because it got me over. She had a um, $110, uh, and you get free shipping. So I was at, like, 95 so I had to add something on, and I, I really wasn't looking for this plant, but I, I'd seen it, um, and it is a, it's a very pretty plant. It's a small leaf, Toya. Um, let's just dig it out here, and then I can show you what it is. Very well packaged again. I, I love when people wrap these up. And this is not a small leaf Hoya, so I just lied to you. So um, I obviously don't know my Hoyas. But I, I like, I do the same thing when I ship plants. Um, I like this uh, corrugated cardboard that is flexible enough that you can roll it into a circle. It really protects the plant. So this is not a small leaf Hoya. Um, this is a very uh, big leaf, thin leaf Hoya, which I have not 
gotten into yet, but hopefully I will with this one. But this is Hoya Cutis Porcelana. Cutis Porcelana. And once again, a gorgeous cutting. Um, hopefully you can see the leaves. Um, they do the, the Hoya thing where it's a long piece of stem and then two leaves. Just really nice long cutting. Once again, this was just a throw in. Um, and what I intend to do is I'm going to uh, chop this bad boy up, um, make single node cuttings, root it, and uh, grow more plants and get it on our website. So if you're looking for cutest porcelana, this will be out there before too long on the Gathering Moss shop. Once again, that's www.gatheringmossftw.com. Woohoo! Cutest porcelana. And we've got one left. One left. So let's see what it is. Oh, this is, yeah, this is a nice one. This is one I was really looking forward to just because um, more than anything, I like pronouncing the name. It's, it's kind of unusual. Um, and I'll, I'll probably butcher it. Watch, I'll butcher it. Um, we will get her opened up. Take a look. Ooh, and this one had some nice, oh, those are nice. What are those? They look like strange little aliens. They're like uh, plant pins, but they have figures on them. And I'm not really sure what those figures are, but they're kind of horrifying. Um, they may cause me nightmares. Uh, but anyways, these are what they, what was included. Maybe you've seen something like them before, but I never have. They're very unusual uh, plant pins. They seem like they'd work really well, especially for thin leaf hoyas, or thin uh, stem hoyas. Um, let's get this thing open. Another business card. Oh, this one says, Phil, thank you for your order, Jen. So that was very kind of her. It was the first, the first time I've gotten to purchase from Jen. Um, usually when she's doing one of her purges, uh, people are, are standing in line to get in and uh, they jump the fence. And by the time I put my finger on the button to say sold, the stuff's already sold. So um, or that or she does it later at night and I, I'm in, in bed and I wake up the next morning and uh, it's too late. So here we go. Last one of the group. This may be the biggest um, one-time purchase I've made. Um, now, I've made a couple that were higher dollars, but as far as numbers, I, I've not gotten that many at once, so that's kind of cool. But this is what we've got. Once again, packaged brilliantly, and in the same kind of little um, cup. Probably not even holding it so you can see it. There's the cup down there, wrapped in plastic, got the nice polyfill around the leaves. Ooh, that's pretty. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Hoya Bangviengensis. See, I told you I'd butcher it. Bangviengensis, or something in that neighborhood. Um, a very, very pretty leaf and very dark. This one looks like it, um, it could use a drink, maybe. Um, it's, uh, it got folded a little bit in the packaging, but that's okay. They, these guys recover really well, and this they do not look at all beat up from shipping. They're, they're in perfect condition. Um, this one even looks like it may have a peduncle on it, which is kind of cool because I don't have very many around that have peduncles. So, um, Although my... Uh, Croniana black leaf uh, bloomed for the second time since I had it, and uh, they have wonderful scent. Um, it's more of a, it's like a lilac, and um, they're, they're, uh, it smells so good. The, the only thing it is, it doesn't spread, so it, it's you have to be very close to the actual flower, at least in my experience, to uh, smell it. But when when you're close, it's a very strong smell, and it's it's wonderful. I love lilac, so um, they smell great. 
But this is once again um, Hoya Vang Viengensis. And this is the last of the haul. So, all right, so that was our, our big haul for the day. Um, I'm sure most of you have gotten a lot bigger hauls than that, but that was a pretty major haul for me because uh, I don't usually get them get that many at one time. I usually get them onesie twosies. So um, there's really some great ones in here. Um, I really like Bang Viengensis. Um, the, the leaves are beautiful in this. They're gonna really firm up, I think, once we get, uh, uh, get it in some light and get it something to drink. We have the GPS uh, 7240, which is one of my uh, big wish list plants. Um, we have the first Swiffer sighting in our collection, Swiffer's Dream. Once again, just a beautiful plant. And last but not least, the, the throw in to get us over the 110 mark, Cutis Porcelana. I can't wait to see this one grow up. Like I said, I'm gonna chop this one up a bit and um, propagate it. It's already got some uh, nice rootage going on on the stem. So I think it'll grow really quickly. And um, once we get that going, we will get that out in the shop. So um, leaves remind me a lot of uh, Ben, Ben Gwensis. Is that how you say that? I, I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about. Ben Gwentensis, um, which is another one I just recently purchased. Uh, but I'm really looking forward to seeing this one grow out and seeing what it looks like. So if you guys have any um, tips on growing any of these, um, especially like Swiffer's Dream, I've not had one of the uh, Swiffer's in my collection. So I'd really like to hear what you guys are doing with these plants. Uh, leave a comment down below. Um, if you like the video, give us a thumbs up and make sure you sub subscribe to the channel. We'd really love to have subscribers that were coming back all the time and talking with us and working together on our plant journey. So once again, thanks for dropping in today and I hope you enjoyed the video and we will talk to you again soon. Have a good evening, everyone.